The floating city. You probably know it for its maze of narrow streets, canals and bridges, and the unique history and architecture that attracts over 20 million people a year. If you were to visit Venice in the middle of June, it can be easy to forget that these ancient streets are home to 50,000 Venetian people, but it's a home that has become increasingly more unaffordable and unlivable. Over the last 50 years, countless local businesses have been replaced by tourist attractions and homes turned into accommodation, resulting in the population decreasing by over 50%. In 2020, everything changed. With the restaurants abandoned and gondolas deserted, it was clearer than ever how much Venice needs tourism to survive. But at the same time, how damaging it is to this fragile and ancient city. An opportunity to rethink how we can travel more responsibly to preserve places like this for years to come. It may be the tourism that supports the economy, but it's the Venetian people that support the foundations of the city. They know how to protect and maintain it better than anyone, and the future of Venice depends on its local population. It may be impossible to eliminate the negative impacts of tourism, but by travelling off-peak, supporting local business and tour guides, and getting off the beaten path, we can maximise the positive impacts of tourism to the people of the city.